Have you ever wondered why some people seem to exude confidence effortlessly? Confidence, it's that elusive quality that can make all the difference, be it in a job interview, a first date, or a business pitch. It's the key that unlocks doors in both our personal and professional lives. But here's the secret, confidence isn't born, it's built. It's not a trait exclusive to the lucky few, but a skill that can be cultivated. Indeed, confidence can be built, and today, you'll discover five ways to do just that. First and foremost, becoming self-aware is the cornerstone of building confidence. But what does self-awareness really mean? It's about knowing your strengths and weaknesses. It's about understanding your motivations, your values, and your emotional reactions. Think of it as being the captain of your own ship. You wouldn't set sail without knowing your destination, the condition of your vessel, or the potential storms you might encounter, would you? Similarly, self-awareness helps you navigate through life's complexities, making you resilient and confident. You might be wondering, how do I improve my self-awareness? Well, it's quite simple. Start by spending some quiet time with yourself. Reflect on your experiences, your reactions, your decisions. Journaling is a great tool for this. Also, don't shy away from seeking feedback. Constructive criticism can help you understand perspectives other than your own. Remember, self-awareness is not about being perfect, it's about understanding who you are. Secondly, view failure as a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. It's all too common to see failure as a bitter enemy, a dark cloud that overshadows our accomplishments. But what if we shift our perspective? What if we see failure not as a dead end, but as a detour on the road to success? Imagine failure as your personal trainer, pushing you beyond your comfort zone, helping you build resilience and strength. It's not about the number of times you fall, but the lessons you learn each time you pick yourself up. Thomas Edison, who famously said, I have not failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work, is a testament to this mindset. So let's embrace failure, not fear it. Let's use it as a compass, guiding us towards growth and improvement. Let's leverage it to fuel our pursuit of confidence. In the grand scheme of things, failure is not the opposite of success, but a part of it. Thirdly, harness the power of positive affirmations. Now, you might wonder, what exactly are positive affirmations? They're simply uplifting statements that help you challenge and overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. When you repeat them often, and truly believe in them, you start to make positive changes. Psychologically, positive affirmations can stimulate the areas in our brain that make us more likely to affect these positive changes. So, how do they work in boosting confidence? Well, affirmations like I am capable, I attract success, I am fearless, when spoken to oneself, slowly seep into our subconscious, replacing those harmful self-doubting thoughts we may have. To incorporate this into your routine, start your day by looking at yourself in the mirror and saying these affirmations aloud. Feel each word, believe in them. You can also write them in a journal or set reminders on your phone. With regular practice, positive affirmations can indeed transform your mindset and boost your confidence. Fourthly, remember that mastery breeds confidence. Picture this. You're standing at the top of a mountain, looking down at the world below. You didn't teleport there, right? You climbed, you tripped, you got up, and you kept going until you reached the top. That's exactly how skill mastery works. It's about the journey of learning, practicing, failing, and then succeeding. From playing an instrument, learning a new language, to mastering a sport, every skill you acquire becomes a feather in your cap, a testament to your perseverance. And guess what? With each new skill, your confidence gets a significant boost. Learning never stops. It's a lifelong process. So, keep that curiosity alive. Seek new skills, embrace the learning curve, and watch as your self-esteem grows with each mastered skill. Don't be afraid of the unknown. Dive into it. Experience it. Master it. As you become more competent in your abilities, your confidence will naturally soar. Lastly, never underestimate the power of physical well-being. It's a cornerstone of confidence that often goes unnoticed. A healthy body fuels a healthy mind. Regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and ample sleep are key. They not only keep you fit and energetic but also foster a positive mindset. Incorporate these into your routine and witness how they elevate your self-assurance. After all, when you feel good physically, it radiates through your demeanor. Taking care of your physical well-being can be a game-changer for your confidence. So, what are the five ways to become more confident? Well, let's recap. First, harness the power of confidence. Then lay your foundation with self-awareness. Use failure as your stepping stone, not your stumbling block. Build your confidence with positive affirmations and boost it with skill mastery. 
Lastly, enhance your confidence through physical well-being. Confidence is not an instant brew, it's more like a fine wine. Remember, confidence doesn't come overnight. With consistent effort and the right mindset, you can cultivate and enhance your confidence over time.